stylish Niger YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew an Empire Greek Kaftan dress. Yes, I call it an Empire Greek Kaftan dress because it's like a cow kaftan, but it's actually going to be having pleats on top. It's, you could see the picture up there, so that's just the picture. And then at the end of the day, I'm going to be making use of this applique to just embellish the top part of my kaftan. So it's really going to be beautiful. So, and it's really simple and easy to understand. So you just watch what I'm doing and then follow it. So if you are new to my channel, you are highly and very welcome. If you have not subscribed, please do that. Subscribe and then hit on the notification bell just beside to get an update whenever I upload a new video. And then if you're having any uh, problem concerning uh, sewing, concern, oh, sorry, if you're having any problem concerning this um, video, you could drop a comment or any other sewing and um, problems. You could drop a a comment down on the comment section and then thanks to all of my old subscribers i really appreciate you guys you guys really rock so without a much talk so i'm just going to be folding my fabric i have a three and a half yards of fabric here that is what i'm going to be using for this kaftan three and a half yards and then the back and the front i'm going to be cutting it the same so this is a 3.5 uh, meters so i'm just going to fold it like this this kaftan i'm not going to be cutting the shoulder because this uh, fabric is really stretchy, so I really don't want to cut the shoulder, so I will not have much problem making it. So I'm just going to fold now. I'll fold it into two first. That's from the center. And get out my length. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'll fold it into four again like this. So you can see what I have now. So I have the full length of my gown. So I'm going to place it out on the table and show you how to mark on it. Well, guys, I finished folding my fabric. I have to go over it again. So I finished folding my fabric into four now. And then I'll measure out the length of my dress. And the length I, that I want is 60 inches. So I'll leave this extra inch. That's, you could add between 2 to 3 inches allowance to read, depends on how, what you want. So that's for the length. And then, like I told you initially, I finished um, pinning. I had to pin because this um, cloth, this fabric is so stretchy. I had to pin both edges together in order to secure it. So, and I said I'm not going to be doing any shoulder slant on it. I'm not going to be opening the shoulder because this cloth is so stretchy. So, the first thing I did here, I measured 3 inches for the neckline, I measured 3 inches for the width, 3 inches, and then the depth, I used 4 inches for the depth, so I just marked it out like this, that's for the neckline. So, the next thing I measured is the shoulder measurement, this is my shoulder measurement, which is 14, when you divide 14 into 2, you have... Um, seven inches so this is seven inches so the next thing i'm going to do now from this 14 now i'm going to measure my sleeve measurement and in measuring the sleeve measurement all you have to do is you measure from half of your back um measurement that's from your your shoulder half and to wherever you want your sleeve to be so for this the sleeve measurement that i actually want to use is 20 is 20 inches so from this place that's from the shoulder from the shoulder line i'll measure my 20 inches so this is like my 20 inches and then i have two inches left i'm just going to leave that for my seam allowance that's for the sewing allowance so i'm going to leave that so the next thing i'm going to do from this point i'm going to come down by 11 inches so i'm just going to measure my 11 inches this is going to serve as my sleeve opening it's going to serve as my sleeve opening so I will leave it there and then for my um, knee measurement, I'm going to come down. For the knee measurement, you can decide to, to measure, to know, you measure yourself. So my, what I'm going to use, I'm going to make use of 30, 33. I'm going to make use of 33. So I'm just going to take it like this. And then measure. So this is my 33 inches. So 
So from this 33 inches, this is where I'm going to be covering my arm measurement to. So I'm going to be making a circle from this point. So I'll measure the my hip measurement here. And my hip measurement is 40 inches. So that's my original hip measurement. It's 14 in inches, which is 10 inches. And I'm going to be adding 5 inches to it. So that is 15 inches, which is okay. I'll add... Mm, I think I should just reduce it. Let me make it 14 inches. 14 inches is okay. So now I'm going to be making a circle from this point to this point. So for the down part, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to move it up. So for the down part, I'm just going to maintain uh, these inches here because I'm since I'm going to be, I'm going to be moving up. I'm going to be folding it up. So I'm just going to to measure what I have here. Okay, I'm going to use 15 inches. So I'm just going to bring it down by that 15 inches. So I'll take it and then put it here, down. And then I'll, I'll use my ruler to connect it. So I'm going to cut it out now. I'm going to do now I'm just going to take it to my machine and then finish up the neckline and then run a stitch down and then come back and show you how I'm going to achieve the Greek part of this uh, kaftan so I'm just going to go and do that I'll just run a straight stitch along from the armhole like this I'm just going to take it down straight to the hemline okay guys welcome back guys so you can see my dress i have finished um i finished running and stitching the edges together and there is something that i'm going to I finish and um, turning the neckline so i just i just held it down so once i started sewing this dress i realized that this down part remember i used them um, 15 inches that's from the hip part that's from this point i actually used um 15 inches that it was on fold. I used 15 inches. I realized that it looks like on the down part is too small. So I would advise because of the, the drape, that's because of the pleats on it. I would advise that you use like 20 inches. So don't use 15. 15 inches. I realized that it's too small. So what is going to happen to this dress now is that my pleats is not going to be very full. So and I'm, I'm not happy about it. So that's why I just said to tell you people so you will know. So don't use 15 inches like mine. Use 20 inches so your plate will be very full. That's the drape in the front. It will be very full. So use 20 inches. So now I'm going to start plating it now. So I'm just going to open it up and then measure measure where I actually want uh, want it to be. Where I want my plate to start from. So I'm just going to take my tape like this. I actually want it to be on top of uh, just like my Deli button, so I'm just going to measure. So I'm going to make use of 15 inches or 16 inches. That's for me. So I'm just going to come here now and then measure my 16 inches. That's from the shoulder line. I'll measure with my 16 inches. So this is my 16 inches now. This is my 16 inches. So I'm just going to do it on the other side. So this is my 16 inches. So the next thing I'm going to do now, from this 16 inches line, what I'm going to do, literally what I'm just going to do here is just like you know, uh, if you are putting on a, a dress, a long dress, and you want to pack it up, just maybe like the floor is dirty, and you want, you literally just want to pack 
your dress up so that's just basically what i'm going to be doing here now i'm just going to be packing it up and then i'll use my applique to cover to finish it up nicely so i'm just going to come to this point now so i'm just going to try and pleat it as in pulling it from down like pulling it up so i'm, I'm just going to pleat it like this I'm going to try my needle first to see. So you just gather how much how much on plate you want you just keep gathering it you can see the down you can see the down you see it's, it's looking so beautiful so that was what i was saying so don't use them 15 so use 20 so it will be fuller than this That what I have is enough, so I'm just going to to check out my applique on it and see. So you can see what I have. I'm just going to cut. I'll cut this out now, and then try and see. I'm just going to use my applique, so I'll I'll stitch it with a needle with a matching thread. So I'm just going to use it to cover up everything that is here. So I'm just going to cover it up and then come back and put it on and show you the final look. So guys, so you can see how beautiful it is. You see the empire waist I was saying. So thank you so much. I have now come to the end of this video. If you find this video helpful. Please do not hesitate to like this video, share this video, and then if you actually made yours, please share it with me on Stylish Niger Sewing Group. Let me see it. I really, I would really appreciate to see what you have done with this illustration. So thank you so much. Bye. I'll see you in my next video.